Hello, and what's up guys? Cousin Yuri here, giving you a new video on what to do and what not to do at Milsims. You know, I myself, have I've been over to over 10 Milsims. I, I've honestly lost count. It's been a long journey, and I've learned a lot about what to do and what not to do when you're at these events. And I just want to impart some of that wisdom onto you guys, so hopefully you don't experience as much discomfort as I did you know learning the hard way uh, the first tip seems like an obvious one but in reality it's not that obvious and that is don't pack too much shit you know with these mill sims it's really easy to get excited and think of all these different scenarios that you're gonna get into and you know oh this might happen so you want to bring that or that might happen so you want to bring this and all that shit doesn't matter uh, you know you don't need extra guns you don't need extra you know whatever y you only need the basics to get the job done and have a good time and you know be an effective part of your team so we're gonna go over that exactly what you need in your ruck and basically nothing else so a real quick run through the list you are going to need a sleep system a spare uniform you need underwear and socks for each day you're there that's three sets each you need a sweatshirt, a beanie, a rain suit, four MREs, two oatmeal cups, a pack of nutrition bars, two to four gallons of water. You need a jet boil or a heat source of some kind, a bar of soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, extra eye pro, extra battery, a small toolkit, and baby wipes. That is all that you need in your ruck. Anything beyond that is just redundant or just for creature comforts. Uh, the first thing on that list, the sleep system, you know, it's a sleeping bag, but it's not just a sleeping bag. It's really important that you get a nice sleep system. I myself learned the hard way. I thought, you know, oh, I don't need to spend several hundred dollars on, you know, a bivy bag and a sleeping mat and a sleeping bag that's, you know, rated to, you know, 30 below. I can get away with just a $20 Walmart, you know, sleeping bag. That was a mistake. I did not get a wink of sleep for the first several events that I went to because I was stubborn, I was cheap, and I just really regretted it. And I have to tell you, the moment I stepped up and paid several hundred dollars for a three-piece sleep system, I just wondered why I didn't do it in the first place. It is just worth it. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if you can get any sleep at a mill sim, you know, jump at that opportunity, <laughs> you know, spend the money. You won't regret it, I promise. Uh, the spare uniform, you know, that's usually just in case, you know, you get wet, you get dirty, your uniform gets damaged, any of those reasons, you know, maybe it gets freezing, you gotta layer up some extra, you know, it's good to have a spare uniform. And usually it's required for events to have a spare uniform. Uh, underwear and socks for each day, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, the most important thing about that is to not use all your extra <laughs> socks and underwear before the due day. So, you know, you got, you know, a set of underwear and socks for Friday. You got a set of underwear and socks for Saturday. You got a set of underwear and socks for Sunday. You know, don't wear two pairs in one day because they might get wet, they might get ruined, and then you're going to be miserable for, you know, hours on the tail end. Uh, the next is just a regular sweatshirt crew neck. Uh, you know, that's one without a hood. You know, this is really great for, you know, those emergency situations where it just gets absolutely cold as balls. Uh, it's nice to be able to throw on that extra layer to just help you keep warm when you're, you're, on, you're on night guard duty or whatever <laughs> the situation may be. Uh, you know, it, the sweatshirt in conjunction with the beanie just, you know, helps keep your body temperature up because it gets cold when you're just sitting there, let me tell you. Um, that being said, when you go on patrol, if it even if it's at night, make sure to take off those extra layers because you will overheat, you'll sweat through, and then all your layers that are supposed to be keeping you warm are gonna be wet with sweat, and then you're gonna freeze your ass off. I made that mistake. So before you ruck out or step off for you know patrol or whatever, make sure to dress down. Go back down to just your uniform. Take off your warm layers, uh, and then you know put them back on after you come back and uh, it'll save you from a lot of hurt. Uh, next is 
probably the most important buy you could possibly make when it comes to a mil sim and that is a solid waterproof rain suit you know preferably in some kind of camo you know for whatever faction you're running with um the rain suit has absolutely saved me you know when i had a cheap sleeping bag i ended up just having to sleep on the ground in the mud we you know with my rain suit my legs crossed and my arms crossed to try and keep warm and the rain suit honestly saved me from having to you know cas out because it you know blocks the wind keeps the water out and it just helps keep you warm honestly the best buy you could possibly make is just a solid solid waterproof rain suit uh, the MREs, I like, you know, Mountain House. I, I stick with bringing four. That's, you know, one for dinner for the, uh, you know, for the first day, for the first night, because usually it doesn't start till evening. Three meals for the next day, and then another meal for the last day. Um, anything beyond that, I find that I just end up, it's just extra weight. I don't end up eating it, and I'm just carrying it for no reason. Uh, with the MREs, I also bring, you know, two oatmeal cups. I made a video about that. You should go check it out. I usually bring a pack of Cliff Bars and Nutrition Bars. I like the oatmeal raisin. You know, you guys can bring whatever flavor you like. Those are just the ones I like. Um, you always need to bring two to four gallons of water. Uh, you know, I've seen guys carry just a liter of water or, you know, just a couple, you know, bottles of water and they think that's going to last the whole weekend. But it really will not because you can just sweat all that shit out so quickly. You know, you need to drink up to, you know, six liters of water and sometimes beyond that, depending on, you know, how much you're exerting yourself. So, uh, you know, usually I just buy two two gallon water jugs, you know, the ones with the spouts on them and the handles because it just makes it easier to carry that shit in. Um, for a heat source, you know, I, I like the jet boil because it packs up in a nice, small, little, compact design. You can stuff it in a pocket and, you know, you're good to go. But there's all kinds of options out there. And, uh, you know, certain MREs don't even require a jet boil. But, you know, I'm a coffee drinker. I like to have my coffee. So I got the jet boil. You know, I bring my instant coffee and it's good to go. Uh, <laughs> the bar of the soap and toothpaste. Some would say not necessary, but, you know, I personally. You know, after I take a shit or something like that, I like to wash my hands. I don't like to get pink eye or, you know, food poisoning or anything like that. So, you know, I bring a bar of soap, so, you know, a quick wash of the hands, really nice thing. Also, you know, a toothbrush after three days of being out there, you know, eating shit and drinking water and being dehydrated and all that, you know, you, your teeth can get pretty nasty. Your breath can get pretty nasty. So it feels good to, you know, just brush your teeth. Um, the extra eye pro, the extra battery, and the small toolkit. That's all just, you know, preventative shit to keep you from, you know, being out of the game for the weekend and having to go home, you know, having your fun spoiled early. You know, I've had eye pro break. I've had friends show up without eye pro. Uh, I've had batteries run out and I've had guns break. And bringing these three extra things helps me avoid all those situations. So I can keep playing through the whole three-day experience and then the last thing baby wipes <laughs> you know some would say not necessary but i would say absolutely necessary because if you're lucky enough to have porta potties out there if you can imagine 400 dudes all using the same six porta johns for three days straight uh you know there it, it's not a great experience to be in there you know, you just end up on, you know, with a mountain of shit <laughs> and you want to get out as quick as possible and uh, baby wipes allow you to do that. So, yeah, buy a travel pack of baby wipes. You won't regret it. Uh, next thing is your waterproof boots. So with your feet, you want to keep them dry. I've personally spent several days with your feet wet, just n never being dry. It's not a pleasant experience. Your feet get all torn up and, you know, you can end up with some health problems due to that so it's always good to have waterproof boots or waterproofing of some kind that could be waterproofing socks just Gore-Tex boots you know some gaiters or a combination of all three um, just do it get get some kind of waterproofing for your feet the waterproofing spray does not work don't even bother with that shit spend some money to get some bone dry waterproof boots uh, the last little bit or things you don't want to do is uh, try not to whine or complain too much. 
you know, everybody's out there, everybody's tired, everybody's sore, everybody's feet hurt, everybody's back hurts. You know, you're all in the same boat. So, you know, I find that people that are just complaining about, you know, I'm tired, I'm hungry, my feet hurt, my back hurts, you know, or crying or whatever, for whatever reason, you know, you, you people are going to find that annoying and they're not going to want to be around you or they might talk shit to you. So just, you know, try not to whine, you know, we're all in the same boat, make a joke about it, you know, be like, oh, fuck, I'm going to die or fuck, my legs are falling off or, you know, whatever. That's all good fun, but, you know, it. nobody wants to be around anybody who's, you know, a whiny little person. All right, and, uh, you know, the very last thing is don't take yourself too seriously. Again, something that seems obvious, but, you know, we all go out there, you know, imagining we're going to be John Rambo, get a bunch of kills, save all kinds of people, you know, clear the room, whatever. You know, we're all out there to have fun. <laughs> and just don't just don't all right <laughs> i've seen too many guys get pissed off and get in a shouting match pushing match get in a fight for whatever reason you know we're all just a bunch of bb nerds out there playing dress up you know looking awesome feeling awesome so just you know try and enjoy the experience and not take yourself too seriously if you get hit or you think you're hit you know call it and uh, also if you want extra really cool points you're gonna call your hits for the blank fire guys because they're out there making it feel real for all of us, spending a bunch of money for on blanks. So, you know, I like to personally call my blank, my blank hits just because, you know, I feel like it adds to it. And those guys, you know, they're spending a major bank out there to add to the experience. So, you know, be a cool guy, call your blank hits. And yeah, don't be, don't be too much of a douche. And with that, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, you know, I hope you guys found this helpful and i hope you come out to a milsim uh you know just remember the basics you know the the list i put up there you don't really need much more than that anything beyond that is just creature comfort um you know and the more you get into it you might find oh you know i i, I might need this or you know i don't need that you know there's all little things that you know you just learn but with this this little setup you should be pretty much good and with that, I am out, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out my channel, like, and subscribe. I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm fighting to get more subscribers out there. You know, it's rough right now, so give me a like, give me a sub, tell your friends, do airsofting, have fun, stay safe, and I will see you later. Cousin Yuri, out.